congressman Jim Jordan, who, among many other things, is chair of the House Judiciary Committee. Mr. Jordan, Mr. Jordan, why is it that all these fancy eminent economists, they think if you get to keep more of your own money through tax cuts, that's bad. But if government yeah. spends your money, that's always good. Why is that, Jim Jordan? You and I have been around yeah, forever, and it's the same song, always. Yeah, same song. It never works. But they think that because they think they're smarter than us, than us regular hillbillies in flyover country. <laughs> the disdain they have for the folks. Remember Peter Strzok when he's in that the Northern Virginia Walmart store, and he says, I can smell the Trump supporters. That's what they think oh, about yeah. regular Americans in the heartland. The regular Americans, as you point out, Larry, know how to spend their money a lot better than the bureaucrats in D.C. or, in fact, in their state capital. So that, uh, that's just a fundamental principle. I think tomorrow night President Trump, as you said, is going to make that point clear because I think he's going to talk about his record. In, in three and a half years, we have literally went from a secure border to no border, safe streets to record crime, $2 gas to $4 gas, stable prices to record inflation. All in, all in the time Joe Biden's been president. He's going to talk about that, and that connects with the American people. Well, you know, Jim Jordan, I mean, here's the thing. It's okay. We have different debates. Everyone's got an opinion. That's fine. But you can't have your own factoids. That's the thing. Right. And the thing that struck me as so absurd is all these Nobel Prize winners, but fellas, like, look at what the facts were. The Trump program, 1.9% inflation at an annual rate for four years. Joe Biden's spending program, 6% uh, inflation for three and a half years, basically three times the inflation rate. I mean, these guys are Nobel Prize winners. They're supposed to understand numbers and factoids. Yeah. You can't have your yeah. own factoids. I'm sorry. You can yeah. have your own opinion, yeah. but you can't have your own facts. Can't have your own facts. And those good policies that you were a part of putting together in the Trump administration made it so that everyone's real wages were up for every demographic across our population. That's why you're seeing black Americans say, we're going we're gonna to be, more and more of them are going to vote for President Trump. Hispanic Americans on the border saying, we like the economic policies of Larry Kudlow and President Trump. We like those. We like the secure border. We're going to vote for President Trump. That's why you see this, this move and President Trump up in every single poll. And I think it's also this fundamental point. No president, certainly in my lifetime, did more what they said they were going to do than President Trump did. Mm. Said he cut taxes, he did. Said he'd reduce regulations, he did. Said he'd build the wall, he did, and secure the border. Said he put conservatives on the court. Said he put the embassy in Jerusalem. And on and on it goes. And those things, when you do what you say, people appreciate that. They remember that. And I think that's going to be a key factor on November 5th and certainly tomorrow night. Well, I got a great headline for you. I'm sure you saw it. Washington Post poll. Donald Trump stronger than Joe Biden on protecting democracy by 44 yeah. to 38 percent. No, 44 to 33 percent is uh, what this is. So now that's very interesting because Mr. Biden says he's going to run on democracy. We're going to talk about yeah. January 6th and this and that. Uh, but oh, wait a minute. Mr. Biden tried to keep Trump off the ballot in a couple yeah. of states. Mr. Biden, yeah. his lawfare doesn't seem to be working. I mean, don't you find it interesting, ironic, that the Washington Post poll, Washington Post, of course, which basically yeah. nobody reads anymore, they're going bankrupt, but that's a different segment. The point is, people trust Trump more on democracy. So that's going to come in yeah. tomorrow night. No, it sure is, because it's what, it's the lawfare, it's these ridiculous attacks in these cases against President Trump. It's the 14th Amendment issue. I mean, what the Democrats said, the best way to beat President Trump is to not let him play the game, to not let him run at all. They tried that. Thank goodness the Supreme Court said nine to zero, that that's garbage. And then, of course, you have what well, we just, we just put out a report yesterday where these 51 Intel officials that, that signed this statement saying the laptop was Russian an information operation when they knew it wasn't. Our government had the laptop for a year, and we learned three new facts. We learned that the top people at the CIA reviewed the statement. We know that agents were saying we shouldn't do this. This is political. This is a bad look for the CIA. And we know that some of the people who signed it were actually on contract mm. at the CIA when they did. And they mm. did this 15 days before a presidential election to mislead the American people. So what happens? I mean, uh, it's possible that Hunter Biden's laptop computer 
will come into play in tomorrow night's debate. I mean, if Joe Biden starts slinging mud back and forth, I'm sure Mr. Trump will raise that point. Hunter himself yeah. is a convicted felon. So what happened? Biden lied about it in 2020. He just flat out lied Certainly. about it. And you're just saying, it's, here's it's, another study from New York Judiciary Committee that shows yep. that the CIA people, a lot, some of whom were still on the payroll as contractors, um, you know, created this, I'll say, little white lie, yeah. although it was a national security lie. Yeah, including the guy who put it all together, Mike Morrell. He's yeah. one of the guys who was on contract at the time, was, and he wanted to do this for obvious political reasons. He said that. He said, we want this so President Biden can use this in the debate against President Trump. So, and it worked just like they said. So he was doing it for political reasons and because he wanted to be the CIA director in a Biden administration. Uh, that's how bad it was. But again, the American people see through it. Tomorrow night, I think President Trump should focus on his record. If he does yeah. that, I think... I think that is, that's, that's what to run on, because he did more of what he said than any president I've ever seen. Yeah, bet on it. I, he knows it, too, sir. He knows it, too. Mr. Jim Jordan, chairman of the Judiciary Committee, old friend, thank you very much for coming back you on. Bet. We appreciate it.